And uh, when um, I was uh, brought up in Arden, uh, I moved there when, when I was about three years old. And uh, in Arden, 90% of the people there are generational Satanists. And when I was there, you know, only 10% of the people there were out of the loop, were not uh, involved in pedophilia and the human sacrifice. And uh, now my parents uh, moved there from uh, Delaware County, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, they had uh, two children, uh, three children, uh, three brothers. Uh, my two, me, myself, and my two brothers. Uh, I was the youngest in the family, and therefore I was determined to be a, a burnt offering for uh, Molech. You find in a lot of Illuminati families, they try very hard to uh, get the firstborn to uh, join the cult. And then once that is achieved, uh, through psychological uh, testing, through uh, programming as they go through the uh, torture and rape of the Illuminati old religion, uh, then they're, they're weeded out and you find out what they would be good at as far as uh, mind control programming them for their lives. But my first uh, – I'm going to talk about the abuse in a minute, folks. My first uh, experience uh, in Arden was, um, you know – Going, going to the uh, what's what's known now as the candle candlelight dinner theater, and uh, beneath the dinner theater used to be it, it it's not there anymore, but on, on the first uh, floor of buildings underneath the candlelight dinner theater, there was a art studio, art shop, art gallery owned by a man by the name of Buzz Ware. And Buzz Ware ran Arden as the quote unquote official mayor for at least fifteen years. Uh, his family was uh, major players in the American Communist Party, and uh, they were involved in uh, scandals relating to uh, espionage in uh, America. And so uh, you would go through the gallery of his art gallery, and then. Right in the back of the gallery was a huge black velvet curtain, and behind that black velvet curtain was a large room where there was a uh, goat's head bath mat made out of uh, branches, and uh, it was it was it was rather uh, nature uh, art art natural art. Uh, Baphomet uh, goat's head uh, symbol on the wall. And then you would also look, and there was a, a hole in the floor with a trap door over it for uh, people to be buried alive in that cer ceremony. There was a, a car battery with a yellow and red, uh, kind of like furry uh, electroshock uh, paddles on it. And there was a cattle prod. And some whips and uh, other devices of uh, physical torture. So in addition to, you know, what I just described, there was also a shower, you know, so you could uh, wash the blood off yourself after you axe murdered someone. There was a holding area for the children that uh, was about... Mm, Four feet, five feet by by maybe five feet, a little squared off area that was uh, had a white curtain all the way around it, and we as kids would be in that little curtained off area, uh, waiting for them to bring us out for the certain rituals and debauchery, and a lot of times there would be a dog with us that was uh, provided by the town veterinarian Bernie. And that dog, after the uh, debauchery and rituals, would be axe-murdered in front of us kids uh, that night. 